Good evening, everyone. You need a stretch pad or something to stretch with. Maybe a towel, maybe a belt. And Ready with starting on the floor. stretch band. Line on our back, holding our knees into our chest. Starting session. On the exhale, try to relax your hips. Focus on your butt being pulled towards the ground. Stay where you are, grab onto the bottom of your foot, pulling your knees towards your chest. The bottom of your foot, pull your knees towards your chest. Your butt is still pulled towards the floor, so you're not rolling yourself back. You're grounding yourself towards the mat. Now grab onto the outside or the big toes and pull your legs out to the side. Make sure your back is on the floor. You're trying to release your hips. all of that, bring your knees back and towards your chest. And as you exhale, relax your hips, your knees, whatever you feel right now. to the bottom of your foot, pulling your knees towards your ch chest or shoulders. Knees towards chest or shoulders. If you can't hold on to your foot, you can hold on to the back of your knees. Side of your foot or your toes, press your knees out. 
Bring your knees together and take them to the left side of the body. Relax in the shoulders down. Look to the right. Try to focus on your breathing. Take the knees over to the right side, looking towards the left. Bring your legs back center, and now we're going to twist left and right. Inhale left, put your legs, exhale right. Bring your legs back center and extend them up. We're doing the same thing, twisting left to right. Do not touch the floor. Take your legs to the left. Take it back to the right. Inhale one way. Exhale the other. Keep your legs straight up if you can. Toe touches. Sit up and touch your toes. Bring your knees down. We'll have toe touches one more time. Let's just go up front a little bit. Let's back up. Touch your toe or your ankle or the bottom of your foot. Child's pose, turn it over. Turning 
second session. Walk your hands to the left with your body in the child pose. Take it over to the right in your child's pose with your body. back center. Now I'm going to go from child pose to down dog. Drop your knees down and repeat the child pose. Now back to down dog. Child pose. Down dog, up and back. Stay in the down dog. Try to relax your head and neck. Walk your hands back a little bit to stretch out the back of your legs. Every time you exhale, try to get, pull your chest towards your legs. Not your hands, your chest. You're pulling your body towards your legs. Upper body towards the bottom body. Focus on your breath. Don't fight it. Just relax. Do what you can. Soften the knees, drop them down. If you need some padding, don't walk on your mat for your knees. Cat cow, inhale up. Exhale, round and push your spine underneath like a rainbow. And reverse. Going back to down dog, pressing back. This time, walk your hands forward into high plank if you can. Walk it back into down dog. Going to be on your hands for a little bit. Walk it forward to plank. As you walk, lean forward over your hands so you're not letting your shoulders do all the work. 
and walk back. Over the hands, now knees down, come back to your bear or table position, repeating cat-cow, exhale this time if you have air in your stomach and push up, reverse, go to the reverse position, inhale, drop and look up, and follow your breath. Make your way out of the position as much as possible. Who's reaching out? We're starting on the floor with the strap or whatever you want to use. Kyle, stop being so big, bro. Stop being so big, bro. Hamstring stretch, strap around the right foot, left foot down. Starting session. Once you're here, point and flex your toes. 
away from your body. Do not pull your leg up, pull your leg out, keep straight. So wherever your straight point is, that's where your leg stops. Pull your butt or your back to the ground, point and flex your toes. Move your toes up and down. Bigger than that. Stay where you are. Take that leg across to the left. Do not twist your body. You want to keep your upper body on the ground. So wherever your straight point stops, that's where you stop. Your back is on the floor. Pulling your shoulders to the right side so you can't possibly take your leg all the way down. Keep your back on the floor on both sides. Increasing up. My leg is slightly to the left. Bring the leg back. Taking down to the right side as far to the ground as you want now. Right foot to the right, out to the side. Make sure your left side of the body is on the floor. The left cell leg, switch it to the left. Left foot up, straight, point and flex. Now we're on the left foot. Marshy, can you mute the phone, please? Good. Taking that leg slightly to the right. Making sure your back and upper body on the left side is on the floor. You want to focus on stretching out your butt, not your lower back. You want the butt stretch. The more you pull your butt down, the more you're going to release in your hamstring or inner thigh. Good, now take it that leg all the way out to the left, not up, just down to the left. Keep your back and butt. Once your leg is down, make your adjustments. If things are not where they're supposed to, then your leg should be slightly off the floor. Bring your leg back in, put the strap back around the right foot, left leg down. Now you're going to pull your knees to your chest and extend your leg back out with resistance. So you're controlling the leg press. You're pressing your leg back and upward, down and up, or back and forth. That way, add some resistance. You're pushing and Pulling, pushing, and pulling. Right. 
Now with that right leg, we're gonna take it out to the side, and then up, out and up. Out, and go a little bit, get your toes in line with your eyesight. Again, switching to the left. Pulling your knees towards your chest with resistance and back. A controlled leg press. Down. Now taking that leg out to the left and up. Out and up. Excuse me. Oh, get in the way. Straps down for now, lion butterfly stretch, the sole of your feet together. Lay your knee out to the side. Sitting on your butt like you're ready with your legs out to the side. See how far you can get your legs out to the side. Starting side. Place your hands behind your head. And you're going to drop your chest. Down, don't pull your elbows in. Elbows go back, chest go down. As far as you can go, and then come back up. Go with your own accord. Keep your knees down with the 
Let's just think. Rinse. Good, going back to the first one. No. Hands behind your head. Dropping your chest down the middle. And back up. You in the way. Ooh, nice going today. Whoa. Doing those two one more time. Your heart up, keep your chest up, keep your head up. That's better. Wowzer. Okay, shimmy your leg in as much as you can. Bring them legs together, Mom. Oh, man. Good, 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 good pain. So, leg raises, alternating, seated. Leg raises, work on the back, now you gotta work on the front. Right leg up. Left leg up. Inhale up. Exhale down. So follow your breathing pattern. Now we're going to try to hold the leg up. 35 seconds. Right leg up. And you hold. Focus on your core, the top of your leg. If you find yourself leaning back, lean forward. 
You can need to hold your leg if you have to. Yeah, 15 seconds. Eight. Just your posture, left side. I'm doing some more on the left. Fifteen. Ah. Left leg, what's going on there? What's the name of the leg? Five. One more time with both legs. You can do a boat pose. Or you can do the full leg extension. So this will be the boat pose. Or this can be the boat pose or trying to hold your leg up. Okay, let's go. Starting session. Mom, hold both your knees together. Hey. Just keep them together. You don't have to extend your leg. No. Okay. 15. Four. Great. Now for the hard part. Pausing session. Locking elbows in, L6. We can modify it. How can I modify this? No. We can modify it like this. Bend your knees. And lift your butt up off the floor, squeezing your legs and your arms to your body, focusing on your core. If not, you're trying to do it with your legs extended. It's getting hot in her. Starting session. Let's go. Mom, you're in here. Legs closer. Why are you so far apart? Bring your exactly. Good. Now lift your butt off the floor. Just stay there. Stay. No. Modified means you're doing a modified position. So you're going to go like this and lift your butt up. One more time. Hey. Hey. Yeah. Stop it.
standing up. I'm tired of floor now. Standing up. That are Y and T. Inhale your hands up to their Y. Down to center. Out to T. Bring it back. Up into Y. Keep going. One more Y and T. It's light flares everywhere. Now, if you want to open up your Y bigger, you can really up to where it's tight on your body. Out, go up a little bit straighter. Right. Up. Okay, down and up. Scapular rotation. down Find out the scalp of the press, hands in behind your head. Elbows in and out. Focus on your lower body as much as your upper body. Hold it in. Scapular rotation, arms back up, down, and up. We are not doing this. I need you to roll those shoulders. Roll your shoulders. 
keep your shoulders up some more too. Okay, we have one more time. Scapula press. Focus on the lower just as much as the upper. Soften your knees. Make sure your belly is tucked in. Squeeze your butt cheeks if you have to, to feel something. One more round for both. Elbows up like a hanger as much as possible. Rotate. I'm moving more of my shoulder joint than my hands. My shoulder joint is moving the hands. The hands is not moving the shoulder. I'm moving the shoulder back and forth. Not the arm. That's a little better. You should feel this in your back, underneath your armpits, maybe your neck. Maybe the top of your hand, your arm, not your hand. Scapula press one more time. Seconds. Oh, yeah. Ah, grab your strap. Taking the strap in the right hand over your head, grabbing it with your bottom arm. Walk your head up as close as possible. Then hold. Starting session. Once you're holding, well, I don't need the strap. You need to hold it. Pull your elbows back. Both elbows back away from the body. Tuck and sweep your butt forward. Release your hands. Switching the band to the left arm. Now your left hand is up. Right hand back. Walk your hands up as much as you can on your strap. Or if you can hold on to your hands, hold on to your hands. And now pull your elbows away from the body. Squeeze and tuck in your belly and your butt. Try to untuck your chin from your neck. Your head should be neutral. Release. Going to go into elephant pose. Right hand. Left over and around the right. Tuck and relax your knees. Squeeze your butt cheeks. On your next inhale, lift your elbows up a little bit higher. And on your next exhale, tuck and round your body down.
And standing twist. You can also extend your arms for a full body twist. Spread your arms flat around. Last and final pose, feet and heel from the bottom, reaching all the way up as tall as you can go, up mat over, exhaling, bringing your palms to your chest, bowing to each other, namaste, oh, namaste. Gracias chicas. So today was more relaxed day. If you come on Thursday night, we'll do more active state. Until then, thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you.